Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences is Beatrice Chu. And if there was ever someone who we should have allowed to wear a costume for their speech, it is now because she is looking at Star Wars, a journey through chemical space. How many TIE fighters can we see up there? Seven, eight maybe? How about stars? Probably many more, right? Well, now let's try and imagine all the possible therapeutic compounds we could make. Say we limit these to commonly found elements and their realistic connections. That's still 10 to the 60 combinations. This is called chemical space, and in drug discovery, that's a lot of space to explore. To be a drug, a chemical must fit well to a protein key to disease. Now, in the vast expanse of chemical space, only a tiny fraction of chemicals fit well enough to proteins to be useful to us as drugs, which means billions of dollars per year funnel into drug discovery efforts, which may or may not actually yield a drug. So with the odds of finding a drug lower than uh, Luke destroying the Death Star, you might be thinking, I've got a bad feeling about this. <laughs> and I don't blame you. So my project aims at improving these odds through efficient chemical space exploration. If drug discovery is the Kessel Run, I want to make it in under 12 parsecs. Now, every journey needs a map. And in our journey through chemical space, these maps are called Structure Activity Relationships, or SAR. And they relate the structure of a chemical to changes in a protein. But these SAR maps don't come cheap. Charting them requires making and testing large numbers of chemicals, with purification being the slowest step. So we've come up with two strategies to help fight in these SAR wars. The first involves designing large libraries of structurally diverse chemicals and making them using material that would fit in the volume of a tablespoon. We can explore huge areas of chemical space using, uh, using chemical diversity. The second strategy allows us to test these libraries without purifying them. We've learned that the slower a chemical leaves a protein measured by its off rate the better it fits to that protein, which makes sense. If you like something, you're going to stay around it much longer. Now, only chemicals that fit well to proteins will have that slow off rate. Impurities won't, which means we can test these large, structurally diverse libraries of chemicals without purifying them using a technique called off rate screening to rapidly identify the most promising drug leads. I've been using these strategies to help fight against breast cancer. In just two years, I've been able to make and test over 600 chemicals, build meaningful structure activity relationships, and have three promising candidates. But the sky is the limit. If we could apply these strategies to more drug discovery programs, who knows how many billions of dollars we could save? So to the current statistics of drug discovery, I say, never tell me the odds, because we're punching it in our journey through chemical space. And number one, the winner, overall winner, from the Faculty of Pharmacy and Pharmaceutical Sciences.